until the wheels fall off, which comes out April 5th on HBO and HBO Max. Congratulations on the documentary. Yeah. You really don't have to know anything about skateboarding to enjoy it. How did this all come together and how did you feel the first time you watched it? seeing your life story told this way? Uh, well, Sam Jones approached me uh, about five years ago asking about doing something on my life, and I had seen his Wilco doc, and I knew of his work, and mm. so I thought I, I, he would tell it honestly and mindfully. And also, he, he was a hardcore skater in those days, yeah. in the early days, so I knew he had a, an authentic perspective. So we started shooting interviews th all through COVID, and he started collecting footage, and um, I had no control over the narrative, so when I saw it for the first time, it was... It was, it was hard. It was, you know, it was like somewhat uncomfortable, but I, I really liked his perspective and I liked the questions he raises about it, like doing it at our age and with the risk versus reward. And, um, and he had a really good take on my youth because my youth, even though I had success, it was hard. I was, I was bullied quite a bit going all through my formative years. And he connected with that. And so um, I thought he did a really good job. And um, I hope people enjoy it, not just if you skate. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the way that people talk about you in the film is really beautiful. It's so incredible. You, you, like you say, you really don't need to know anything about skateboarding to, to realize what an incredible feat you've, uh, your career has been. It's been amazing. You're one of the most recognizable athletes on the planet. And oh, yet you have a lot of stories about people not recognizing you, <laughs> yeah. even after you show them your ideas. Yes, all How the does time. that happen? Um, well, I think that in a lot of ways, like you, they played our video game mm -hmm. and they see me kind of stuck in that time capsule, which right. was I was in my 30s. And then they didn't expect that this face would age. <laughs> yeah. So when it's in its 50s, it's like, I don't, I don't <laughs> think that's. And my legal name is Anthony. Yeah. I've always gone by Tony, but you know, with the advent of security and TSA and stuff, you've got to show your ID. So they somehow don't connect Anthony with Tony. Right. <laughs> so it's like, oh, Anthony Hawk, like that skateboarder. That literally happened. Like Anthony Hawk, like that skateboarder. I said, exactly. Yes. And she said, she said, I wonder what he's up to these days. And I said, this. <laughs> and that was it. Did she get it? No. No. And then she handed me my ID and off I went. Wow. I mean, if we're speaking of IDs, mm. I want to talk to you about this, Rose. This is your California driver's license. Mm. What's happening in this photo here? Uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a hairy morning down at the DMV. Um, mm. Mid-pandemic, a long wait in the line. I don't know how I'm supposed to use it to buy alcohol or get prescription medicine, but it's... Oh, you'll get prescription medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn. Do you have a question for our guests this evening? I do. Tonight's question goes to... Everyone over there. <laughs> <laughs> if you suddenly had to change careers, what would your backup dream job be? It's a better question than Reggie's aunt. <laughs> In 1,041 shows. Dawn, you are absolutely crushing this. Mm. Go on, what, what did you think about? Um, honestly, I gave up playing violin for skateboarding because my music teacher in high school said, you can't do both, you can't make time for both. And I had to choose and I chose skateboarding. I, I like to think I made the right choice, but um, <laughs> I miss playing violin. And he told me that I had to quit altogether. And I, I... How can this guy be a violin player as well? <laughs> I you, also, know, you can do it with band-aids. I, I also don't see the two as mutually exclusive. I would love, <laughs> I would love, and I urge you to do this, to go down a ramp whilst playing the violin. Okay. <laughs> All right. When my leg gets better, maybe I'll try. What about you, Rose? Oh, uh, uh, probably a gardener. Yeah, I would like to be a gardener. I would have to sort of overcome a few challenges with the, po the pest population, but I'd get there. Dawn? That's correct. <laughs> it's absolutely correct. Please thank Rose McIver, Tony Hawk. Stick around. Youngblood is here when we come back.